All right, guys, you're gonna need a piece of burlap. That's gonna keep your clay from sticking to the table. You'll get a piece of clay from your art teacher. At the box at your table, you've got this template. Then you're also gonna need a skewer to get started. Now, we will be bringing around to you a cup of water with a toothbrush. All right, so your first job that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your piece of clay and you're actually gonna break off some of it and put it off to the side. The remainder, we're gonna use this part of our hand. It's called the heel of your hand. And you're gonna do a tap, 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 then turn over your clay and tap, tap, tap. Now, it does look like I'm karate chopping, but I'm actually trying to spread out the clay so that the clay is wider and longer than your template. Awesome. So now my clay is just bigger than the template. So now I'm gonna take my skewer tool and I'm gonna use that to trace around my template. <clears throat> awesome. Now this leftover, I'm gonna put over here with my other leftover clay. So this is now the base of your plate. Now these crumbs that you see along the edge, when the clay is fired or made very hard, those are gonna be really prickly. So what you're actually gonna do is very gently dip your finger into the water. You don't want too much water because your clay will get really slippery and slimy and be hard to use. You're just gonna take your finger and very gently smooth it out. If you feel more comfortable resting your clay on the burlap, you can do that as well. Okay, awesome. Now, this is where you need to decide which side of your clay is gonna be the front and which side is gonna be the back. I think, let's see. I think this side is gonna be the back. So on the back of your clay, you're actually gonna take your little skewer tool and very gently you don't want to poke all the way through, but you do want to make it visible. You're going to take your skewer and you're going to write your first name. And then your class code, please. Okay. Now we're going to flip over your clay. And now you've got some um, tools that you could make some impressed designs. So if I wanted to make this spiral design impressed into my clay, I could gently take it and I'm just barely pressing. Onto the clay, I could repeat that down here or I could take my skewer and maybe I use my skewer to create some interesting patterns. I think I'm gonna do a skewer pattern on this side. I actually don't think I like that, so I'm gonna take my finger here and I'm actually going to erase that design. Just a little bit of water. Yeah, I like it much better smooth. Cool. All right, so the next step, we're actually going to flip it back over. And this is where you're going to need a bowl. Let me show you what you're going to do with that bowl. All right. So you're going to take your bowl you're gonna very gently lay your slab, this is called a slab of clay, and super, super gently, we don't wanna smush it, we just wanna bend it. You're gonna take your damp clay, and you're gonna gently bend the corners around the bowl. 
Okay, it's gonna create a little lip to hold things on your plate. Okay, so now I need to mark with my skewer where I want the legs to be. And I need one, two, three, four legs. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, using some of my leftover clay, I'm gonna take some of the clay and I want about, let's see, I want about that much and I need four chunks that are about the same size. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna form these into little nuggets, okay? So what I'm doing is rolling back and forth and then making them smaller with my fingers. Okay. If you decide that that's too big, all you gotta do is break it in half. I actually think that these are kind of too big, so I'm gonna take two of my pieces and break them in half. That should be better, okay. So I'm gonna roll it into a cylinder. Okay, so now I need to connect this clay and this clay together. Now it would seem like I could just press it like that, but you actually can't. We have to do what's called um, scoring and slipping. So to do that, this is where your toothbrush comes in. You're gonna take your toothbrush and you're gonna gently scrape on where you put the little X's with that toothbrush. And then I'm also gonna decide which end is gonna connect. And I want this end to connect, okay? So now I'm gonna take the end, I'm gonna wiggle it onto that scored area just like that. Awesome. Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here. little score marks okay so now this is where it's gonna sound crazy you are going to leave your plate upside down on your bowl okay now again if your name disappears a little bit you can very gently write it back in with your skewer then you need to move your plate over to a safe space in the classroom I've already told you where that is okay now The next thing that we're gonna make is a little bowl, a little sauce bowl. <clears throat> so you're gonna take some of your leftover clay and you're gonna roll it into a ball, okay? And then you're gonna take your thumb and press it into the center. So that makes a little um, divot or hole. Well, it's not really a hole, it just makes a dent. So I'm gonna stick my thumb in, take my peace sign, I'm gonna glue it together. <laughs> And then I'm gonna gently press with my thumb and my fingers to make a little bowl, okay? Now your bowl, it might kind of tip over, kind of funny if that happens, just gently tap on the bottom and that will help to flatten out that bowl. Now you may see some cracks on your clay start to show up, that's not a big deal. Again, all you need to do to smooth that out, just dip a little bit of your finger in the water and begin smoothing around to smooth it out, okay? Now, on the side of your bowl, you could make a line pattern if you wanted. I think I'm actually gonna make a pattern that matches the pattern I put on my bowl. I also need to write my name on here. Miss N. Okay, you're gonna end up putting that with your plate in just a minute. Now, your remaining clay, you might have less than me or you might have more than me. You don't need very much to make your little spoon. So, to make your spoon, you're gonna take a piece of clay, we're gonna roll it back and forth, 
until it's about the size of your pinky finger and about the same thickness, okay? Now you're gonna notice that there is the pattern of your burlap underneath. Now again, the burlap is helping it not stick. So the next step for making your spoon is you're gonna take your finger, you're gonna kind of like smoosh it back, and then you're gonna take your thumb, and you wanna kind of form with your thumb, a little spoon, maybe even kind of pull on it like that. If you don't like the shape of your spoon's head, no big deal. Squish it back up, roll it back out, and try again. Now this clay does not like to be squished up and rolled out a ton. It will take a little bit of tries, but if you notice that your clay is starting to get dry and crunchy, that means that you need to quickly decide what you want your spoon to be shaped like. And then stop squishing it. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, guess what? I also need to put my name on here. So I'm gonna put my name on the back of the spoon itself. There we go, Mrs. N. So I now have a plate. <coughs> my upside down plate. I have my plate, I have a sauce cup, and a little spoon. Now